Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to make 3D brush or a hair brush. All right? Or you guys might be knowing that it's a VMA brush. So, how to make it, how to use it, I'm going to show you in this video. Let's get started. For this video, like for this brush, what we're going to need, not this sphere this time, we're going to be needing a plane. And with plane, we definitely gonna need a higher subdivisions. Keep it seven or eight. Then once you have that, you need to uh, mask the area, the border type. And keep a little bit thicker than this. It's not a good like idea to work with, with the masking area I'm talking about. Okay, once you're done with the masking, you need to pull some mesh out. And, and depending on your what you wanted to make, if you guys wanted to make uh, an eye or the nose or something which you guys wanted to create, that depends on it. If you guys are working same thing, what I'm gonna make it here hair. So you need to pull some mesh out and give a basic shape, a basic block out. Once you're done with it, you need to add a detail. How are we gonna do it? It can be, you, you can use damn standard brush, clay builder, standard brush, any brush, whatever you guys are comfortable to work with. All right. So I'm gonna use a damn standard brush on the base. Okay, once I'm done with it, I'm gonna be using Clay Builder and I'm gonna give at least it looks, uh, I wanna show that it's a dense hair, all right? So I wanna add maximum what I can do here, right? And if you guys are having a problem with it, you guys can use a smooth brush or standard brush anytime. Once you're completely done with your model, just use a pinch brush to keep that at the end a little bit narrower, All right? As you can see, you can use this thing, use this technique for horns, right? Or a flames or like anything you can imagine to create with this. Once you're completely done with it, as you can see, I'm still adding more detail to it. So spend some time, give a little bit detail on it. Whenever we're completely done with the model, all right? So what do you need to do then? Mask the mesh area where you have worked now, okay? Let me just complete the details first, then I'll show you what I mean. Since I'm completely done with the model itself, I'm gonna mask the mesh where I have worked. Then I'm gonna use deformation uh, morph to grid. Not the relaxed plane grid, no. Morph to grid. What it will do, unintentionally you guys have a work on the mesh corners and it will be a problematic in future. So it's better to work this thing at the beginning. It will smooth it out it will make it plain all right once you're done with it you need to uh, use a chisel brush all right any chisel brush will work since uh, this chisel brush can be used as a 3d objects right so what you need to do you need to go create um, multi alpha brush all right doesn't matter if you have one two maybe 10 20 that doesn't matter once you have it, um, you can use that uh, brush on any object. Just keep your um, drag. Okay, as you can see, it works completely fine. And it can be used multiple 
like um, purpose it can be detail for the beer detail for the flames or anything you guys are like desiring to make this is some kind of an example i'm showing you guys here you guys can make on beard you guys can make on hair or a flames or you if you guys wanted to make an horns anything it can be useful right and it depends completely on you guys what you guys are actually looking to make so you guys can make a little bit similar to that just a sample then you guys can use it wherever you want to i hope that makes a sense to you so this is the one technique which i want to show you and this is going to be another one which i really wanted to show you guys since many people keep asking me how we can make an hair all right so this technique is quite easy to work with but you need to know how you will make the hair itself right or what kind of what type we are hair looking for so what do we have to work on this it's quite simple it will be coming from the top it should be on smooth it doesn't have it, it doesn't it shouldn't have the thickness at the beginning in middle it can be having a little bit thickness the again on the end it shouldn't have any thickness all right with that you can achieve what you're looking for in this between you can make whatever you wanted to make it can be a like bunch of hair or bunch of uh, like um, nails whatever you guys are looking for all right so what i did here i did that same thing but i'll give you an example why i said that you need to keep on low it shouldn't be thick in the middle on oh, sorry on the top side there is a reason as you can see i have created that same technique with the brushes chisel brush as you can see it's quite high if i add one more same alpha like same brush it will look completely like odd you can see here it doesn't look good so what you need to do you need to go back to your brush or if you have done this or if you haven't done this just keep your brush like uh, your model on the top side it should be a little bit lower it should be slant from both sides and smooth it out always then if you guys haven't done the same mistake which i have done then just go and do the same thing for the brush now you can see it looks much better than before now you have two brushes to work with and i'm gonna show you on our model for the saber tooth it's quite easy i'll let you just save the brushes first you guys can use on uh, saber tooth if you guys have made it or similar models you if you guys have it or any anything you guys have so as i told you guys previously i couldn't use that uh, the same brushes which i wanted to use since i haven't shown you guys anything about the 3d model brushes so I, I couldn't use it but now i just let i just wanted to show you guys how easy it gonna be if you guys have these brushes it's quite easy and it's quite effective so as you can see it's quite easy before we were trying to make so many things with the damn standard brush pull like a move brush now with the same just one click we can have or one drag i must say we can have the hairs whatever we are looking for right now this is quite easy to work with since we already done the hard work now same thing goes for maybe you're gonna work the, the same uh, I'm, what i mean to say you might be working on another model maybe next month or maybe like two months back afterwards so you already have what you need to work with right so you don't need to worry about like oh i need to work on hair you already have what you need to work with so that's it guys i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to explain and if you guys like the video please hit the like button and share it and if you guys haven't subscribed yet do please subscribe 
and don't forget to hit the bell icon and let me know whatever you guys wanted me to make next see you next video